Vinci once said, all our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. Take a minute to understand what that really means. We, as human beings, look at the world in many different ways. With 7.6 billion of us on this earth, that's almost 7.6 billion different worldviews based on perception. The symbolic interaction theory, a pivotal component of sociology theory, studies this exact mechanism of social and human communication or interaction. It takes into consideration the symbolic meaning derived by people based upon their perspectives and perceptions of objects, events, and messages based on past experiences and schemas. The theory is based on the ideas of George H. Mead and other pragmatists from the 20th century. The theory was based around the idea that the development and understanding of objects of analysis by individuals were a social process. But simply, this means people understand situations and interactions of all sorts based on meanings of perceptions based upon their past experiences, and further go on to assign meaning for future interactions based on the same process. This is thus ever-evolving and a continuous every second of our lives. Herbert Bloomer went on to further develop this theory who assigned three core principles to the theory thought, language, and meaning. To make this easier for you, let's give you an example. Three friends decide to go out for brunch. After finishing their food, they decide to ask the waiter to bring out the house special dessert, and so he does. When the dessert arrives, the friends all notice it's strawberry ice cream. Friend 1 digs into the ice cream without a second thought. On the other hand, friend 2 looks at the ice cream with absolute glee and relishes every bite. While lastly, friend 3 looks at the ice cream apprehensively and hesitates to dig in. In this situation, the object of analysis is the bowl of strawberry ice cream. The three different meanings derived from this object are due to the friend's past experiences. While friend 1 has never had any defining experiences with strawberry ice cream due to which she sees it as simply just ice cream or any other dessert. Friend 2 has had a lot of pleasant memories connected to this strawberry ice cream. It reminds her of her childhood and days at the park after which she would go and enjoy a bowl of strawberry ice cream with her dad, due to which this takes her to a place and time she was happy and carefree, and so every time she eats strawberry ice cream, she reminisces in these memories. Lastly, friend 3 has had the painful experiences of falling sick a few times she's eaten strawberry ice cream, due to which she's now apprehensive because of the subconscious fear that connected her illness to the strawberry ice cream. Now let's say if hypothetically friend 2 fell ill after eating the ice cream on this day. So, as you all saw, this simple example demonstrates how everyday interactions objects and media we view can be perceived so very different simply based on our understanding and experiences. So that scene you saw on TV, it could be viewed and perceived in a million different ways by a million different people. So the next time you think you're debating over what that scene in a movie meant or what the songwriter meant, remember that it's all about perception. It's not about what you look at, but rather what you see.